Okay, I've had a really good play with this little lock that was part of the package that Paul Springup gave me. So it's only three wheel combination, but I had difficulty uh, with it. I believe it's the type that you can't set to your own combination, but eventually I got into it. Oops, as, as you can see. I think I had so much difficulty because when you turn the wheels, there's bumps on each wheel and it sort of disguises what the, what it, it, it ruins any feedback. Um, there is a little bit of feedback, if I press hard and that's why I'm wearing the gloves so I can really press hard then I can, when I turn it I can sometimes get more of feedback, it sort of lurches into the gate a little bit and, and is, is looser once it gets there uh, and that's how I was able to open it. Sometimes I even press up here for more leverage and that risks ruining the lock I think because even though if I press and I go to the right number it'll open, sometimes if I press really hard go to the right number it, it wouldn't open until I released and then pressed. So I think I'm in danger of ruining this lock by pressing so hard just to get feedback. But it was a surprise how difficult it was. Another way that I was able to get into this lock, I've got a very thin piece of metal. This is a key remover. And I noticed that if I press above the wheel, the closest to the shackle, I can... Uh, I don't feel any bumps on the right key and that extends a little bit to the next wheel but if I if I try this on other wheels there's a little bit of a bump just at the edge of five next wheel there's a I can feel a bump on six, feel a bump on seven, feel a bump on eight. Now interestingly on nine I don't feel a bump and that's the exact opposite of what the correct number was, four. Four because it's a ten digit wheel, four plus five is nine and on nine I don't Feel anything at all so I can get into this lock by feeling for no bumps and then it's either that number or the other side of the wheel is the correct number and so I can narrow it down to just eight possibilities where I can try each one and then get into the lock so that's my theory and Paul gave me another one which I have not tried and I'll just um, make sure these uh, combinations are not set to the right combination because that last time when I received it, it received this it was the correct combination but I didn't I didn't take notice of what it was I quickly scrambled the numbers so just in case I've just decided to do the same here and I'm going to set all these to zeros I haven't tried this lock before I'm going to see if my theories are correct see if I can get into this lock set them to zero okay so all zeros is not the correct number now as I found with the first lock I, I and I should mention mention this with the, I'll just pick up the first lock for a second when I turn this wheel it turns freely if I tension the shackle it starts to bind more than the other two and that's how I knew that I should be able to open this using the feel technique or the pull feel or push feel technique but as I say these bumps were sort of destroying a lot of the feedback I was getting so right the new one again okay now this is going to I'm expecting this to be tough right apply a fair amount of tension and I'll start turning ah 
I'm not sure if uh, seven. Not sure if it leaked under seven. I'm going to go to the next number and and have a look. And if necessary, I'll come back because that's what I did last time. I I came back to the well when I wasn't sure. I'm just not getting much feedback from this this well at all. This middle well. Maybe to I'll just leave it there and just come back to it if necessary. Yeah, not really, not really sure. Mm hmm. Okay, come back to the, give, give my finger a rest and then go back to the first wheel or the last wheel of the lock. Okay. Hmm. It really does seem to want to stay in, in seven. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back to that. Maybe I'll leave it to seven. Just try the middle wheel again. Make sure this is still in, in there. Gosh, just no feedback um, from that middle wheel. So maybe it's not seven. I might have to do the uh, my probing technique to get into this one. I'll just give this a little bit longer. Thumb arrest. Yeah, I wasn't sure if um, F five was a possibility or six or seven. <laughs> hmm. I really do like seven though. Um, right, what I'm going to do. I'm going to press up here for even more leverage and see how that goes. It's really tight in there. So I'm going to the middle wheel. I'm just not sure. This last wheel is really tight. Yeah, really do like seven. I don't want to give up on this method just yet. <laughs> Let me try nine. It's either nine or zero that I was interested in. Um, and the lock's open. Phew. Oh, okay. Now that is a hard lock, as you can tell. And if I probe to 
just make sure the uh, hmm okay oh yeah that's that's uh, that seems fairly flat I'm just trying to see if my theory works yeah it looks as though it's it's the same I'm getting bumps on the other wheels just testing a few of them but not on the wheel in question and the other side of seven would be two so I'll just put that all the way to two and yep that's clear as well so I could have got into it finding out where those ones the numbers without bumps and I'd have two numbers per wheel and so I'd try eight possibilities and eventually I would be able to get into the slot so what did I say the combination was yeah this one right okay so that was really hard so it's success I was able to get into these locks but boy I was really surprised how difficult they are thanks